I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Do you have to be happy to be a Christian? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what we're doing passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. Hey buddy, you wanna wake up? People miss you. This is three videos in a row where you've been all asleep. Can you stay up just a little bit? One of our, um, one of our folks in our, our uh, Matthew Bible study, a guy by the name of Peter, good man. He, uh, he wrote me an email basically saying, Pastor, when you were talking about being happy, it called me to repentance because I'm about a 60, 40, happy, crabby person. And that got me thinking. Jubilati, cantata, and the, and the weeks that follow are all happy Sundays extolling the joy of the resurrection. And Lutherans, I usually mock, or, or um, we're sort of we're we're sort of reserved for the most part. Um, and I'm a happy person for the most part. But um, does that mean that we have to be happy people? Shining happy people holding hands in order to be saved. Well, joy is a fruit of the spirit, but Really, what, what you need to do is be the person that the Lord made you to be. Um, not everybody is a jokester. Not everybody's a juvenile delinquent grown up. Not everybody's a trickster. The Lord has those. He, um, and they're all gift to him. Um, he, he made you the way that you are and put you in the place where he puts you to be the person that he made you and to be where he put you, if that makes any sense at all. And he did this because he loved you and you are the person that he wants in that place. And so you don't have to be someone else in order for him to love you. Uh, just like you don't have to be like Jesus for him to love you. He had a, has a Jesus, he's at the right hand, um, he loves Jesus, um, only one Jesus in all the world, just like there's only one you in all of the world too. And Luther says it this way. So if a person is curmudgeon before their baptism, they will be curmudgeon afterwards. If they are grumpy before their baptism, they will be grumpy afterwards. And if they're happy-go-lucky before their baptism, Missed. They will be happy, go lucky afterwards. Baptism doesn't change our personality. It makes us a new creation. Well, isn't joy a fruit of the spirit? Yes, but there's nothing worse than faking it or some sort of law. Like now I got to be joyful or else. So what I would say is the answer to Peter's question is if you are 60 40, then you are 60 40. And that's the way the Lord made you. And you should rejoice in the gift of the death and resurrection of Christ and let that be the certainty in your life and not how happy you are. He doesn't need you to be someone else. He has you the way he has you. And you, just the way you are, are just the person that he would have in the place where you are, being who you are, genuinely, in front of others. Now, if your anger is sinful, you need to get rid of it. If your grumpiness is unfaith, you need to repent of it. Just as if your joy is sarcastic, you need to repent of it. Um, there's plenty to repent of, of us being us. But the only thing that saves us in the end is not how joyful we are, or how solemn we are, or how serious we are but Jesus Christ and him crucified. He alone saves. And part of vocation, understanding your proper calling, is understanding whose you are. 
you are the Lord's. The way you are, how you are, for others. Think about it. Peter, thanks for your question. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and a civvy awake Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.